Hi, I'm Felicia. I'm a natural food chef and a wellness advocate here in Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome to my tiny kitchen. Um, I'm going to be making my favorite tonic that I have every day. I call it Sea Bomba because it's basically a vitamin C bomb. So what I like to do is use a little small saucepan and everything that we're using um, in terms of the hibiscus, the rose hips and the orange juice are all really high in vitamin C. So I'm just going to put this in my pot. This is two cups of orange juice. I have one and a half cups of dried hibiscus flowers and I actually get these at my um, Latino market downtown at Ranch Market. They sell them in bulk and I'm just gonna put these in there. Hibiscus, if you've never had them, they're really tart like cranberries, they're so good. And then I have some rose hips. And rose hips, we do have some that are indigenous here to uh, Southern um, Arizona, Northern Mexico. And I usually get them, you know, um, at a natural food store or something like that because um, I don't get a chance to go out and forage all of these myself, but they're so good. And these two are really, really tart. And so I'm just putting all of that in there. And you can be, you know, you can decide how spicy you like things. I actually love things really spicy and I have uh, chili um, arbols and I also just have some Thai chilies. I like things really hot. I'm actually gonna put two chilies in here and we're going to give this a little stir. I'm gonna bring this up to a boil. As soon as it starts, um, as soon as it's up to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to simmer and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And the color's going to change. It's actually gonna be about the color of my dress and it's, so full of antioxidants. Um, it's one of the best things you can take when you're kind of feeling like a cold or a flu coming on and it tastes really good. So we'll let that sit and come up to temperature. As you can see, it's now come to a boil and all of that beautiful crimson magenta color starting to release from these um, hibiscus flowers. So this is cooked down. It actually looks really, really good. The color is beautiful. So I'm going to put this in the food processor. If you noticed, I didn't um, remove the chilies because I want them in there. If you're really sensitive to spicy food, then just go ahead and take them out. And then use your own judgment. I'm going to be using half a cup of honey and I'm using a raw honey. You could also use agave syrup or even maple syrup. And I'm putting the honey in at the end versus putting it in the saucepan when it was all cooking because we wanna keep the really good enzymes that are in the honey. And if we put it in the pot earlier, it's going to cook off all of those enzymes. So top on here and I'm basically going to pulse it a couple times look at that color <laughs> maybe I should put this on there and it's starting to break down and then I'm just gonna let it go for about 15 seconds So I like mine actually a little bit chunky and this looks perfect. What I'm going to do now is just let this cool a little bit more. I'm going to put it in a jar and once it's completely cooled, then I'll put the lid on and then you just put it in your refrigerator. Mine 
Um, lasts about two weeks because I'm taking that spoonful um, every day, but you can use it for jam. You can use it um, even like on pancakes or something like that. So that's it. So this is the end result. It's really thick and jammy and you can serve this um, on a cracker or you can do what I do every morning and actually eat one spoonful for my vitamin C dose for the day. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find the recipe in the new April issue of Phoenix Magazine. All the time and we can even put this in here because mm -hmm. I believe it's the most important ingredient that anything here is your energy that was nice. what I've always been taught was that you have to cook with good intentions and with mm -hmm. good energy because that's always going to make better medicine and food is medicine <laughs>